Penang is one of the most famous spots in Malaysia and with good reason. Most of the state of Penang is located on an island and as such you can enjoy beaches, sparkling waters, and a laid-back island feel coupled with a big city experience. This part of Malaysia is also known for its food and anyone who loves to eat will truly find a culinary paradise here, much of which is down to the mix of influences in the city. Penang enjoys a large Chinese and Tamil community along with the indigenous Malay residents, and you will find a fantastic and diverse food scene that includes fiery curries, toothsome noodles, and a plethora of street food delights. In this video, we are going to talk about best things to do in Penang, Malaysia 2023, so let's get started. Have lunch at Peli de Nasi Kandar. Paliva Nasi Kandar is known across Malaysia and is not to be missed if you want to try some of the best local food in Penang. Nasi Kandar is basically rice which is heaped with meat, fish, seafood, and vegetable side dishes and is then liberally doused in delicious curry sauce. All the food is presented in a glass-fronted case and you can simply point to what you want to eat and have it added to your plate. The food has a strong Tamil influence due to the local Tamil community in Penang, so expect Indian-style curries and flavors with dishes such as cabbage and okra, fried with mustard seeds and turmeric. Have a cup of tea at Huang Chen Tao Tea Art. One of the less known facts about Penang is that it is covered in dainty little tea shops thanks to the strong Chinese influence in this city. Many of the tea houses sit in shop houses and it is easy to walk past and miss one without realizing the delights that are contained within. Huang Chen Tao Tea Art is one such place and you will find a traditional Chinese tea supplier here with packets of tea stacked all over the shop. Scare yourself at the Snake Temple. As the name suggests, the Snake Temple in Penang is full of resident slithery creatures and as such is one of the most unique temples in Malaysia. Most of the residents here are pit vipers and the temple dates from 1805 when snakes found their way to the building and the benevolent monks allowed them to take up residence here. Nowadays you will see snakes coiled in corners all over the temple as well as lounging on the temple altars and you can also have your picture taken holding one of the snakes if you are feeling brave. Visit the Penang Peranakan Museum. The Penang Peranakan Museum is dedicated to telling the story of the Peranakan people, who are also sometimes referred to as Straits Chinese. The Peranakans moved to Malaysia in the days of old and a unique culture came with them, which is a blend of traditional Chinese and traditional Malay customs. As such, if you want to know more about this amazing culture, then the Penang Peranakan Museum will take you back in time and there are even recreations of traditional homes from the 19th century as well as galleries of photographs and antiques. Visit Kyu Kongsi. Kyu Kongsi is another one of Penang's most iconic attractions and used to be a clan house in the days of old. Nowadays the home has been turned into a museum and you will find gorgeous architecture here as well as elegant stone carvings that have a heavy Chinese influence. The home was built in the 19th century and has a number of breathtaking signature features such as a large temple altar that is decorated with gold leaf and inlaid with ancestral tablets. You can take a tour of the house and if you happen to be in town at the right time, you may even be able to watch a Chinese opera show here as several performances take place throughout the year. Have afternoon tea at Suffolk House. Suffolk House offers a glimpse of traditional British colonial architecture in Penang and sits in the scenic part of the island known, rather alarmingly, as Air Etam or Black Water. The house would have been the former home of Sir Francis Light, who is remembered as the official founder of Penang, although it fell into disrepair following his death and was closed to the public. It reopened in 2007, having been lovingly restored over three years, and now you can take a guided tour that will fill you in on all the history of this spectacular building. One of the big highlights of a trip here is the on-site restaurant where you can enjoy a traditional cream tea which comes with delicious pastries and a range of delicate sandwiches.
sunbathe on Batu Faringhi Beach. Anyone coming to Penang in search of some sun and sand should make their way to Batu Faringhi, which is known for being one of the best beach areas on the island. Here you will find a long strip of golden beach, part of which is public and some of which is used by the resorts that line the coast. Popular pastimes on the beach include sunbathing or swimming in the soothing waters, or just relaxing and sipping on a coconut as you look across the water. If you can, try to come here at sunset as the views are simply stunning. Visit Kek Lok Sai Temple Kek Lok Sai Temple is famed for being one of the largest Buddhist temples in Southeast Asia, and as such you should make sure not to miss it if you are traveling to Penang. Many Buddhist devotees consider this to be an important pilgrimage site, and you can spot the beautiful towering Kek Lok Sai Pagoda as well as the statue of Guanian. The statue is constructed in the shape of the Goddess of Mercy and stands at a height of 36.5 meters, and the entire temple complex is built in a range of styles. As such, make sure to look out for the Chinese base, Thai-style midsection, and the Burmese-inspired top level. Learn some history at Fort Cornwallis. Fort Cornwallis is one of the most famous sites in Penang and dates from the 18th century. It was built by the British East India Company under the direction of Sir Francis Light, who was the founder of Penang and was designed to defend the city in case of an attack from the water. The fort is still in good condition and you can see a famous statue of Francis Light that stands at the entrance to the fort as well as a selection of original cannons. If you notice any flowers in the canton, then this is because there is a local legend that says that anyone wishing to conceive should make an offering here. Tour the Tropical Spice Garden One of the highlights of Penang, especially if you want to get out of the central areas, is the Tropical Spice Garden located on Jalan Teluk Bahang. The garden is an ode to all the gorgeous herbs and spices that are indigenous to this part of the world and sits on the site of what used to be a rubber plantation. This is an amazing place to visit for anyone interested in Malay flora and fauna, and you can even take a cookery class here to learn how these herbs and spices are used to make classic dishes enjoyed across Malaysia. There are also guided or audio tours of the garden and activities for younger visitors to help get them interested in all the various aromatic plants found here. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.